Dallas Stewart back in his barn. Dallas, you have uh, two grade one horses going this week. Let's start with the first one, Jack Club Gold Cup. You have Chess Chief. How's the horse been training? Well, he's been up here and he's had a race over the track. Last year, he ran in this race, coming off a bad race last year on the grass, but he ran pretty good. So this year, he's had a race over the track, a couple really good works. We've been working him out in company. His energy's good, so we know it's a tough race. It's a tough lineup, but it's a grade one at Saratoga. So the five race field, but he, the one of the horses that our collector came out of that race and won again down in West Virginia. So you have some good company there. This race seems to have a little more pace set up in the front end, which should be an advantage for him. I know you have a change here with Ray Lou Gutierrez having other riding arrangements. You have Manny here. Any concern with the change of jockey onto a horse he hasn't ridden before? I mean, listen, I got a lot of faith in Manny. We have a lot of faith in Ray Lou, but he chose to stay down there. So I'm sure we'll get a great ride. And uh, hey, listen, who wouldn't want to ride a million dollar race? In this pace setup here, do you think you have a bit of an advantage compared to the last race? It should help. Hopefully it works out like that. Second grade one you have here in the Spinway on Sunday of Saba coming in. Uh, three races under the belt so far. How's the horse been taken to this track? Well, she's had a race over the track and it was a good race. She was third, just got beat a little bit for second. Uh, this will be her, uh, what, second race here, maybe what, third or fourth race of her career. and. Um, the 7-8 should help her out. I think we got some speed in there. She had a good work coming in. She had a minute uh, posted uh, over the training track. So I think she's she's right here. She's happy. She's ready to go. Well, good luck. You have two great one opportunities Thank this weekend. You. Thank you. We're with Miguel Clement. Has Voodoo Sip going today in the Lucky Coin. Tell me a little bit about what you learned from that race up in uh, Woodbine. Yeah, I actually think he ran a good race. If you believe in speed ratings, he ran one of his best numbers. I think he ran a 9 or a 10 rag. He's um, doing well, and we just need to get lucky with the distance today. Yeah, I was going to ask about that next. Cutting back to your 5.5, it's a little bit shorter than necessarily this horse wants to run. Uh, any idea where you're going to change a little bit in the pace setting? No, I don't think you can change his style. It's up to Joel. Fortunately, he's the one who rides it. We don't have to worry about it. And um, it's less than firm. In my mind, it's probably good ground, which is ideal because it's a bit of cut in the ground. And... Um, and we give it a go. It's up to him. I think the speed's not been very strong lately, so uh, maybe we got lucky with a little cutting that. I got to ask you. I want to congratulate you first on the goof, on Goofo. What a what a win. Um, we interviewed you before the race. How did the horse come out of the race? He yeah, came back in uh, very good order, to be honest with you. Um, to such a point that we're actually, I think, considering Kentucky Downs. There's a race at Kentucky Downs. It's two weeks after the Sword Dancer, and we're strongly considering it because he came out of the race in such good order. And it's great for the stable, great for the whole team. Delighted for Mr. Keneally, the owner. And um, that was a great win. Not many horses can win back-to-back -back sword dances. No, I mean, it was such a great win, and it seemed like people overlooked, and they didn't realize how well this horse was training coming into it. You sort of answered my next question would be, what could, where could we possibly see uh, Goofo next before Breeders' Cup? But it seems like you answered it there. Uh, if not Kentucky Downs, are you going to ship the horse down to uh, Belmont at Aqueduct? That makes the most logical sense. I think the Kentucky Downs race or the Joe Hirsch Turf Classic, those would be the most logical options, I believe, ahead of the British Cup. Well, good luck with Voodoo Zip today, and again, congratulations on Gufo. Thank you very much. Here at Phillips, Philip Serpy at Barn 22 in the Spinaway this week. You have Leave No Trace. We spoke to you before the last race, and the horse won very nicely. How's the horse been training since the last race? She's been doing great, and, uh, you know, we're looking forward to running her back. Um, you know, she certainly was impressive in her first start, so see what happens. Impressive at five and a half, comes now to seven. Do you think that stretching out a little bit is going to be any issue at all? Oh, I think it's going to be beneficial to her. I mean, pedigree-wise, she's really bred to go long and possibly even turf, but let's stick to the dirt while we can. Last question for you. A lot of, uh, up here, there's been a lot of talk about the jockey game with Kentucky Downs going and Monmouth and all these jockeys stitching around. Do you have, have you picked who's going to be riding her yet? Um, yeah, the, um, race is already drawn and Jose Lascano okay. is riding her so uh, he's taken over for Irev Ortiz who I guess had a previous engagement so uh, we're good we do a lot we do very well with with Jose and uh, you know he should be fine well good luck in the Sunday and the spinaway all right thank you